The days were hot. Fish died in the lake, plants yellowed, birds stopped singing. There was thunder, but no rain. You call this period the Great Ecological Catastrophe. I heard my mother's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving and bison running by. Then we reached the flooded city with refugees in rubber boats. Suddenly, I couldn't find Mama. I was scared and alone. I'll never know whether she died or abandoned me. I only remember the rockets leaving for Mars. That night, the fighting started. I ran deep into the forest. A she-wolf found me and raised me with her cops. People who didn't make it into the rockets were dying in combat. And from the mutating environment. But we, the orphans and animals, didn't fight. Instead, together we adapted to nature that grew out of the rubble. Many moons passed, and then one day, some humans returned. They called themselves Martians. They flew around dressed in yellow. They went hunting and played golf. I would steal their golf balls for fun. It really upset them. But then one day, I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing in it. After years of only speaking wolf, I listened to the Martian radio and learned human language again. After the group left, one full moon later, I was chasing a tasty bug when another spaceship with new Martians arrived. It soon became clear they were trouble. Greetings all you Tesla City Martians out there. You're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The show for those who miss a morning run in the park, slurping minestrone soup, sailing with the wind in their hair, Singing in unison with thousands of people at a music concert, or smelling the coming rain. In other words, the show for the long lost day. I'm the son of no one. The sound of no one. I am the sound of no one. A mutant of tomorrow. I got no time for sorrow. I found. 
becoming a stag Antlers with no yellow tag Left to my own devices Used to permanent crisis Without race, without cream Spiritual speed I'm the son of no Lungs and legs propel me You cannot buy or sell me I move through life like water No one's son, no one's daughter I am the son of no one The son of no one the sound of no one I'm the sound of no one Starting off the show with Son of No One A song I'm fairly certain resonates with many of us Orphans of the Earth out here In the stuffy depths of space Speaking of stuffy air Please don't attempt to open portal windows To let some fresh air in It's unbelievable that we have to mention this But we're living in pressurized domes, people Breathing in recycled air is just the new normal. In totally unrelated news, the memorial of Baroness von Wollenschitz will be held in private and the family and paparazzi to respectfully stay away from the funeral ceremony being held in the Section C cafeteria on Deck 3 at 7 p.m. dawn time. All right, on with the show.
go. <laughs> Funny? They're taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never sounded so sweet. On that note, it's time for another story a look back at life on open road and look forward to the long road ahead. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic to you, hope, inspiration, drama, radiance, touch you from Mars. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. I'm serious. I tried to recreate that feeling here on Mars. So I took a Tesla City Delivery EVA for a spin on the Planitia Plains, but it's like driving a janky VR simulation. It made me miss riding my motorcycle, my jogging even more. At 35, for 30 days in the blistering heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile. Sometimes I'd wake up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. And even though those closest to me actually didn't think I'd make it, I learned that I could physically overcome much more than before. So after that rite of passage, I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being an entitled little brat whose father would pay for her theatre career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now, here I am with my family on Mars among the last representatives of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high-minded idealism, life has no meaning. Because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even if you manage to get outside, you're still trapped in a bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go, isolation clings to you. Unlike the open road, it's an experience of void, of wholeness. There's no dancing asphalt in the heat, and no neon lit diners and 2 a.m. omelettes with green bell peppers and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns, greasy bacon and black coffee. Instead, there's this barren rock and strictly monitored oxygen levels in sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder, just, Maybe we're just fooling ourselves. Just like during my epic ride, we've mostly figured out the banal questions about water and food and sanitation, and now the greater questions are looming. What are we really doing here? What is our future? And what will the meaning of life be for my kids? At any rate, the point is, I miss my jolly. That's it. Thanks for listening. Thank you for taking us on that ride with you, Brianna. Your story is an inspiration for all and reminds us to face our difficulties head on and to value the small things in life, even out here on Mars. Motorcycles, grease, wind in the hair. What better way to remember than with some psychedelic rock for the road? Radio nostalgia from Mars.
Alejandro. ¿Qué? El bebé no es suyo. I crouched near three members of your Martian expedition. The rest of your group were out in the field. I hoped to make friends, but when you saw me, you froze. Stopped picking plants and whispered among yourselves. You seemed very scared and confused. Amazed that I could breathe without a suit. You rushed towards me, so I ran. You really thought you could hunt me down? <laughs> Hello all the Martians out there, it's time for another round of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. To Sol's episode is an energetic tour de force, nostalgia from the good old days. Buckle up, buckle down, and enjoy.
Some upbeat grooves for some upbeat news. As you may well know, the board of directors have founded a club for going on exploratory return visits to Earth. A primary expedition launched several years ago, and Tesla City authorities are proud to announce that the secondary expedition, a select group of our eminent board members, has arrived on Earth in the vicinity of Alphaville. The purpose of the expedition is to research, collect samples and conduct measurements of the air, water and soil to establish toxicity levels back on Earth. Of course, our intrepid Tesla City leaders will use the opportunity to squeeze in a game of golf. Nothing beats Earth's gravity and urban rubble covered in nature makes for a challenging course. So let's wish them the best of luck. Work hard, play hard, keep up the morale. We won't stop until we make Mars the best it can be. So I ran, avoiding the nets, the same ones you used on my wolf brothers and sisters. This whole hunt was for so-called research purposes, to see if humans could return here one day. But even with jetpacks, you still couldn't navigate our new terrain. I am a nimble earthling, while you need so much gear just to stay alive.